Hi everyone, it's Sir Lava with another 2x speed casted game of Age of Empires 4. So, spawning in the lower left is myself as the Blue Mongolians, and spawning in the upper right is Michael Danger as the Red Chinese player. So, the title says this is a Mongolian Ram Rush. Technically, you could do this type of build with any civilization, but it's well suited to the Mongolians for several different reasons. Firstly, you can park right next to the wood and you're going to need a lot of that. Secondly, the, the Ovu gives you a lot of uh, free resources and speed to build your army very quickly. Third, we get Deer Stones uh, for the Yam Speed Aura. It's a, basically a free wheelbarrow that stacks with the actual wheelbarrow upgrade. It's also easier to transition out of, and players typically don't expect a head-on assault right at their base when you're playing Mongolian. So, you'll notice here that uh, I've been dealt a pretty terrible hand. I have one sheep right here. I have one berry bush that's close to my base. A couple that are very, very far away. And the deer are just so far away but it doesn't really matter I don't need a lot of food for this build so it's great if you get totally shellacked in that way this Chinese player built um, several scouts got lucky with the sheep and I came back with a single sheep I don't even think I picked that one up um, oh I did but there's another one hiding around here somewhere that uh, I never found that sneaky bastard. So, you can see I'm doing a pretty quick deer stones. I really just got food and gold uh, right away, conveniently sitting right next to them. And then, as soon as I start building deer stones, I start putting everyone into wood. I'm gonna need a lot of it. Uh, and this deer stones has a nice big aura that's gonna give basically the wheelbarrow upgrade without the capacity to all of my workers so they're gonna collect much faster now you'll see this Chinese player he built a lot of scouts and uh, he did something particularly annoying he brought them all here to destroy my Ovu typically you have to build your Ovu really far from your base uh, there's almost never rocks right there and so he's found that he can just torch down people's Ovus like some kind of sicko takes me a while I'm just whittling him down. He keeps bringing more of these. I don't want to pull people off of my uh, you know, production or my resource gathering. Um, as you can see here, I'm throwing some guys on gold just to get some uh, additional upgrades here. And then putting them back on food. Over on the Chinese side, uh, he went for a pretty quick Barbican, building pretty standard. He's, you know, got uh, all of my sheep. He's got a few guys on gold. He's At this point, he's building pretty normal, except for a lot of scouts that are being extremely annoying, uh, forcing me to pull uh, two villagers finally to one to smack him in the face and the other to desperately repair this Ovu before he actually kills it. He almost kills my Khan, but I get away, and he doesn't. Here you see, and he sees, my Gur moving to berries. I've been reduced to berry foraging. It's not good. But most of my um, workers are just mining out that forest. Don't worry, I'm going to build another Gur there pretty quickly. And I put down a barracks and an archery range next to my Ovu. You want to get archers and uh, spearmen for this, because they're cheaper per unit. Um, you typically don't want to do this build against Holy Roman Empire, because uh, most people who pick them, they're really big fans of uh, man-at-arms and those armor upgrades. If you, if you go here and scout that they're building man-at-arms, this build can actually transition pretty cleanly into lots of Mongol town centers, which is not true of every other civilization, because you need a lot of stone for that. But as you can see, 
if I decided that this guy was building a lot of man at arms, which pretty much soft counter archers and spearmen, I could just say screw it, and I could take all these uh, woodworkers, build another town center, find some more food out here. <laughs> Although I'd have to be out pretty far on this map, and I could start macroing up, getting some more troops just to defend myself against lots of uh, man at arms. Because those are pretty good at killing archers, pretty good at killing uh, hardened spearmen, and uh, also pretty good at killing rams. And you're going to have trouble focusing down a lot of man at arms bowmen and spearmen before he kills your rams. But luckily, he kind of, kind of played really defensively here. He's had some bad experiences, as you can tell. You can see the pain. He's he's building a lot of. Uh, outposts with the um, hand cannon slits upgrades on them because he's he's expecting me to want to run around his base sniping workers with mangued eyes because that's a normal Mongolian thing to do but I'm not doing a more normal Mongolian thing I'm doing some weird crap so I bring a bunch of workers back to wood finally get that ovu down and I'm researching siege engineering. I went to actually poke in here earlier, but um, normally you can you can get some pokes in there. But he built that wall, so I had to drop the the uh, blacksmith and get uh, siege engineering. I also got steel to arrow just to give some oomph to my uh, archers and to kind of counteract um, if he ended up getting any man at arms. You really need that extra damage. And I built a ton of rams. You want to make sure to select one of these guys and build each guy build his own ram. You don't want to box select them. It's really frustrating if you do that. Um, so basically at this point I want to open up a big hole in his wall. I don't want to get too choked in there. So I make sure that there's a few different holes. He sends all his vill food villagers at me and I kind of wake up and start attacking them, pushing them back. You really don't want just archers because of these kind of worker uh, <laughs> torch pushes that he's going to inevitably do if he's been macroing up. You can also see my Mongolian passive income every time I pop a building. If they've got archers, he's gonna you're going to be mostly dealing with workers trying to kill your rams, but he's really does not have enough stuff to deal with this. When I actually bring my rams over here, he starts torching them down. They die pretty quickly uh, to this many villagers, but this many villagers also dies pretty quickly to this many uh, spearmen and archers, just blasting them away. This is hurting him a lot more than it's hurting me. He's killed quite a few rams actually to his credit, but um, he's also lost so many of these. You can see those dying a lot slower now, and basically his economy is completely dead. It's just died on the ground face flat right there, and he surrendered. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game. Like and subscribe if you like it. I'm going to keep doing AoE videos, and I'll see you again soon. Solidarity forever.